right, hello everyone. My name is Elizabeth Fisher. I am a senior at Olivet College studying insurance and risk management, and I'm on the recruiting team here to tell you a little bit about uh, the insurance program and Gamma Iota Sigma at Olivet College. And I'm also here, my name is Chase Mendham. I'm a sophomore at Olivet. I'm also a part of the recruiting team. That's why I'm also here. And uh, you know, I'm in the insurance as well, so. Okay, first we're just gonna talk about a little bit about life at Olivet. Uh, the location is a little south of Lansing. Um, about, I don't know, 30 minutes away from Lansing, just a little small town, little small campus, very family friendly, stuff like that. So the professors are, I mean, the best that I've ever had. I mean, with high school or anything, they're devoted. They'll know you if you're walking through the hallways. They actually care about your grades and they'll, I'm not gonna say they're going to email you and say, hey, you haven't got this work in. I wouldn't say it's like that, but they trust you to get your work in and they'll they'll remind you of due dates, but they're not gonna be like on top of you. They all have experience in the field. Uh, both professors for the insurance have either owned their own agency or was an agent in the insurance field. And they're very helpful and know a lot about the insurance field. And not just insurance um, professors, have to have experience in the field. I know there's a lot of other professors like the criminal justice professor that used to be a cop, um, the accounting professors that are actually accountants. Uh, there's a lot of variety, I guess, in their experience. So you know you're getting the best education because they've actually had their own experience and have lived through what they're teaching. <laughs> so classes at Olivet are pretty small, like the room that we're in right now holds six people. So you can have pretty small classes. It's not like at a Michigan State or a big D1 or D2 school where you have to sit in a lecture hall and you have to sit there and take notes. And if you miss what the professor says, well, you're out of luck. They, they it, you can raise your hand, they'll slow down. If you wanna write more stuff on that they have on the board, they'll wait for you to get it all in your notes. Uh, classes at Alabat remind me a lot, like, classes at uh, in high school uh, it's more personable you are not talking to a teacher's assistant or a teacher's aide like you would at Michigan State or these larger d1 colleges so that is very nice there's a lot of sports uh, at the d3 level you have football basketball baseball and softball more your uh, bigger sports that people come to the school like for football there's like hundreds that come and not all of them make the team, obviously, but you'll see you'll see a lot of recruits around. There's soccer. I don't believe we have lacrosse anymore. And then there's also golf. They golf at the Medalist, which is a pretty nice golf course. This is our pretty new uh, Cutler um, Athletic Complex. Uh, it's really nice on the inside. That's like a new. There's a new basketball court now because a basketball kid hit the sprinkler system and flooded the course. So now they have a brand new basketball court, and we have a pretty nice. We have uh, a lot of nice facilities within the Cutler Athletic Complex. These are just another, or a few more sports that are here. I personally run cross country and track. Great fun. Uh, we also at Alabat offer a lot of campus activities. We have a lot of Greek life. I think we have about 13 or 14 houses on campus, which is kind of crazy for how small the campus we actually are. Um, we have a lot of intramural sports, so if you don't want to feel the pressure of actually playing a real, a real sport with real competition, I guess, like you can kind of take it off. And if you have to focus more on school instead of sports, this is always an option for you. Uh, there's also a lot of clubs. Uh, the one we always talk about is there was a girl that came from, I think, a different country, and she started a squirrel watching club. So really, you can do anything you set your mind to. These are some uh, big ticket events that Olivet holds. They have extreme zip line, laser tag. Uh, I've been to the pool party. It was my freshman year. But now, because of COVID, COVID, they haven't really had a lot of these events. I mean, one or last year uh, in the fall, they had a carnival come to Olivet and that was kind of cool but like Miss and Mr. Olivet's just like
homecoming king queen so it's it's cool when homecoming comes around because everybody has like that spirit that you always see in high school or any other colleges or anything like that we also just put in a ice skating rink this year so that should be fun something to do in light of covid situation uh, financial aid, Olivet really has so many opportunities for financial aid and scholarships. Uh, there's a Global Citizens Honor Scholarship. Uh, this can pay up to full tuition. It's either if you win this um, essay competition, I think it's full tuition. And then even if it's you don't win, you get like half off, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then you have the Community Connection Grant. So Charlotte does is able for this. Um, the only bad thing about this is I think it's about 10 grand or nine grand and this you cannot mix with any other scholarship. So it's either this one or the highest one that you have, which still is pretty good. So scholarships, they'll have insurance companies say, shut up and take my money. Our uh, advisor wanted us to put this in. It's, it's really, if you apply for scholarships, you're going to at least get one or two because some people don't even apply for insurance scholarships. So let's say they're giving out 10 scholarships and each is a thousand dollars, but they only have like five people uh, sign up. I mean, you're going to get two grand then. So they, they really want to get people interested. So they really want people to do scholarships. Yep. Really all you need to do is apply, um, make sure you set this as a priority. Uh, it can help you a lot out in college, especially in the insurance industry, because there's so, like Chase said, there's so many opportunities. Um, with me, I have been able to pay off all of my school. I am a senior and I have no student loan. So this is, scholarships has been the only way I could be, could have been able to do that. So why insurance? The job outlook. So there's a lot of avenues that you can take while in the insurance field. It's not just underwriting or agency or claims or an actuary. You can go into marketing. You can go into uh, accounting. I mean, when you're running, like say an agency, it's not, you don't just have insurance people in there. You have to have customer service. You have to have IT with all of the computers. It's not, it's not just you have to do insurance. There's always different places you can go with it. Uh, job locations, uh, really insurance is everywhere. Uh, everybody needs insurance. There's a lot of full-time positions. There's also a lot of internships. One of our old recruiting officers actually had an internship in both Colorado and Arizona. So there's still opportunities while you're still in school to kind of move around, see what you like, um, as well as all over the country, even the world. Uh, there's a few insurance companies in Europe. Um, even if you don't want to be traveling around the country, uh, Lansing is a huge hotspot for insurance companies. There's auto owners, farm bureaus. There's tons of state farms, uh, farmers insurance. They have Frankenmuth, which is a little bit more north. But there's a lot of opportunity, even within Michigan. So financial security, everybody's going to need insurance no matter what happens. Like it's, you just have to, you're always going to have a job. You're never going to have to worry about not ever having a job. I mean, it's, it's pretty self-explanatory if you look at the insurance field. Yeah. Even with um, the COVID situation, everybody's working from home and, uh, not really many people, I don't think, in the insurance industry have lost their jobs. It's still it's still working and going on. Everybody still needs insurance. Everybody needs uh, endorsements on their policies. Everybody, everybody needs it. Uh, it's a very rewarding career um, in the insurance industry. This is why I joined the insurance industry is because you are helping people. Uh, if you're an agent, or a claims adjuster, you are the one that gets the first call when your house burns down or you are in an accident and you get to write the check, you get to hand them the check to rebuild their lives. So it's very awesome to be able to see a smile on their face or maybe a hug. It's, it's a very personable uh, field to be in, I guess, when you are working with the customers and helping rebuild their lives. 
And it's also a pretty flexible uh, industry. So right now, how Lizzie said, uh, it's online a lot. So if you are getting your job done, you might be able to leave a little bit early or if you have like a basketball game since sports are starting to start up now, if you need to like go somewhere and you are on top of your things, your boss will probably let you go and watch. Uh, this just kind of shows how every industry, I guess, and the insurance companies are all inter interrelated. Uh, so the insurance agent will write the policy, the underwriter will review the risk, see if they, the company wants to accept the risk. Um, and then the actuary is kind of behind the scenes, uh, looking at the numbers, how much your premium is going to cost you either monthly, quarterly, yearly, um, with claims, kind of every aspect of the insurance insurance industry is is involved in this the insurance agent will call the claims adjuster the underwriter will will review the claim uh, and the claims adjuster will write the check and the insurance agent will give them the check so kind of every everywhere is involved in the claims process so other insurance career paths i kind of touched on this a little bit out uh earlier, but there's a lot of avenues that you can take. So you have human resources and how I mentioned uh, customer service, uh, IT, public relations, marketing, accounting. Uh, obviously with graphic design, you have to design a logo for your company, so. Uh, everybody needs insurance. Uh, you probably recognize a few of these faces, uh, celebrities, famous athletes. A lot of people um, like Tom Brady, he probably insures his arm because this is his main source of income. And if something were to happen, he would be out of his multi-million dollar job. And then Kiss probably is his tongue, chest hair, legs, hair, everybody. I believe it's her teeth, the mm -hmm. top one, I believe. You can get insurance for crazy things. I know some celebrities have insurance on like their dogs mm -hmm. in case if they died early and didn't get their um, um, full lifespan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the sky is the limit in insurance. So now we're going to talk to you more about the uh, Gamma Iota Sigma side, so the insurance fraternity on campus. So these are like some classes that you will be taking that are required to graduate with an insurance degree. Um, you get most of these done, I believe your freshman year and like your first semester of your uh, sophomore year. So you kind of get them done pretty quickly. So you just gotta remember all and retain all that information. And they're really not that hard. I think the hardest ones would be statistics mm -hmm. and business law, which you more than likely will take your juniors or senior year. Uh, there's a lot, also a lot of opportunities to gain designations and licenses through uh, regular classes here at Olivet. Um, in the professional insurance world, these tests cost a lot of money, so you also get them at a discounted price. Uh, it's very, um, insurance companies like to see this on your resume. Uh, it says that you are dedicated to your studies, you're dedicated to insurance. Uh, it's just another opportunity to be ahead of your competitors in different job fields. And also our, our advisor has shown us plenty of pictures of past students taking pictures of books and saying, I have to study for this test that I could have taken while I was at Olivet. So you're gonna wanna get them done if you can. So Gamma Iota Sigma is a professional insurance society. So. Uh, in this picture, they're actually in Dallas, Texas right now at um, a convention. Yeah, the National Conference, which is in Dallas, which unfortunately we can't go this year because of COVID, but it was very fun. Uh, so why Gamma? So it's 100% job placement. When you, when you graduate within six months, you should have a job. And how our advisor always says it is, it's not about what job or if you're gonna get a job, it's what job you're gonna take because people always have like two to three jobs lined up and it's just which one is gonna suit them best. Uh, this is a student run organization like Man Chase. We are the recruiting officers. There's also a president, president elect, 
secretary, community service, actuary, um, and we have our advisor, which is basically just there for support and that we need an adult to help us run this organization while we're on campus. Get internships and uh, also how, what our advisor says is if you find an internship that's not paid, don't take it and he'll find you one that is paid. A lot of, a lot of internships that you're going to get are going to be paid 15 to 18 dollars an hour and most of the time they're going to pay for if you're going out to like Arizona or Colorado like our past recruiting officer she got everything paid for uh rental car food uh her housing and she got paid 17 dollars on top of that so it's it's really and you need it for a class so you're going to want to do that uh friendship you can also make a lot of friends that you normally probably wouldn't in your regular classes. So I'm a commuter. I really haven't really made many friends inside of classes, but inside of Gamma and the insurance industry, I have made a ton of friends that I otherwise would not have. So these are a few uh, Gamma events. The more important ones are like resume workshop and we're having a career fair next Wednesday. Um, there's, we also do like mock interviews. So mock interviews are more like you sit down with a professional like in the insurance industry and you just go over an interview like it would be you're trying to get a job and after you're done they'll give you like they'll give you some help on like what you should have worked on or what you did good on and then it, it, you get more confident as you go through because you do it every year so once you have to actually have a, an interview you you know like what to say and how to ask questions back to them uh, there's also a lot of volunteer opportunities throughout Gamma. Uh, it's actually a requirement that we have to have three hours in our uh, seminar. So it's just a lot, it's a different opportunity to go outside of the classroom, outside of the campus. Uh, normally we would do like recycle center, uh, cards for elderly and cards for veterans. Um, we also have a can drive, a, a clothing drive we've had a school supplies drive. So it's just another way to help our community. Uh, we also have a lot of membership events. Normally we'd go bowling, laser tag, Buffalo Wild Wings, Tiger games or Lions games. Uh, I think they went to the Pistons last year. And the Cider Mill we also go to in the fall. So it's just fun to, like I said, get out of all of that. And then finally, there's a lot of trips that you can go on and when you think about going to Chicago or Dallas and you think about the price tag that that comes with, it is at a huge discounted price. I mean, you don't pay, how much did you pay when you went to Dallas? I think we paid either 50 to a hundred dollars to pay for like your airfare, your food, your hotel, all of the accommodations were paid for through Gamma even all the, and we only had to pay a hundred dollars. Yeah. So you're going, to Dallas and you're getting a hotel food, everything for a hundred dollars. That's a great deal. And you get to go to uh, conferences and you get to uh, talk with professionals and possibly get internships or jobs. So it, it really helps. Uh, what, two years ago, they went to like, you get to go to like Lloyd's of London and Ireland and you just kind of, you just get to travel around with everybody uh, in the Gamma or in Gamma. And it's a, really neat experience. Uh, so if anyone has any questions, feel free to email us at our school email. We will give your teacher our, our email. If you wanted to reach out with us, don't hesitate. We can probably answer any of your questions you have regarding insurance, gamma, or just Olivet College as a whole. Thank you for having us. Thank you.